morning everyone looks like we have a really nice day out today a little overcast a little foggy but other than that it's a beautiful day who wants to start the day off right today I do I'm not going to show you any exercises today but I am going to exercise my spirituality with you so let's start the morning off with a small word of prayer Dear God, thank you for all you have given us in the world, for its beauty and for all the good things we enjoy. But we thank you most of all for loving us and for your promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ. Please help us to share these blessings with others. Amen. I have one more prayer for us right now. Dear Lord, as we read your book, help us to understand what you want to show us today. May your words inspire us to live the way you teach and to put you first and others before ourselves. In your name we pray, amen. All right, I'm going to read a couple uh, verses out of Proverbs today. Uh, I'm going to go to chapter 21. I'm going to skip through chapter 21 and read, read a few verses. Uh, just a few uh, verses. Let's go with uh, chapter 21, verse 3. To do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. We're going to skip to 7 through 8. The violence of the wicked will sweep them away because they refuse to do what is just. The way of the guilty is crooked but the conduct of the pure is upright. Now let's skip to, uh, verse 13 through 15. Whoever closes his ear to cry to the cry of the poor will himself call out and not be answered. A gift in secret averts anger and a concealed bribe strong wrath. When justice is done, it is a joy to the righteous but terror to evildoers. Verse 21. Whoever pursues righteousness and kindness will find life, righteousness and honor. 23 through 29. Whoever keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. Scoffer is the name of the arrogant, haughty man who acts with arrogant pride. The desire of the sluggard kills him for his hands refuse to labor. All day he craves and craves, but the righteous gives and does not hold back. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. How much more when he brings it with evil intent? A false witness will perish, but the word of a man who hears will endure. A wicked man puts on a bold face, but the upright gives thought to his ways. Uh, there were some verses that I had marked down for myself. I, I kind of like those. Um, if you want to go back over them yourself, you can. It's uh, Proverbs chapter 21. Um, basically, the whole chapter is pretty good. Um, well, it's all good. It's the Bible. Okay, um, I'm going to go to chapter 12. And I'm just going to read verse 1 through 8. It's probably my favorite Proverbs chapter. And also chapter 31, but I'm not going to read that today. If you want to, read Proverbs chapter 31, um, verse 10 through 31. But I'm going to read right now Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1 through 8. Whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but he who hates reproof is stupid. A good man obtains favor from the Lord, but a man of evil devices he condemns no one is established by wickedness but the root of the righteous will never be moved an excellent wife is the crown of her husband but she who brings shame is like rottenness in his bones the thoughts of the righteous are just the counsels of the wicked are deceitful the words of the wicked lie in wait for blood but the mouth of the upright delivers them 
The wicked are overthrown and are no more, but the house of the righteous will stand. And the last one, verse 8 in chapter 12. A man is commended according to his good sense, but one of twisted mind is despised. And that's it for today. I just wanted to read a few verses with you. Um, maybe for those of you that don't read the Bible or don't know the Lord, um, we can, um, I can show you a prayer that you might want to pray. Um, I am no pastor, I am no preacher, I am no chaplain, but I will share what I know with you. And maybe this will help you. I don't know. It helps me. And that's why I'm doing it. This is just a short prayer. When conscious of sin, you can pray um, this prayer right here. Dear Lord, I am sorry that I sin and do wrong things that offend you and others. Please forgive me and help me to accept the forgiveness that you offer through Jesus Christ, my Savior. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And that will conclude my Bible study for the morning. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jason Gecko, and I hope all of you that did watch have a blessed day and have an awesome day. Until next time, I'll be back.